This is Daryl's Corner Bar and Kitchen, a Black-owned restaurant located in Roxbury. Although Black-owned businesses are among the hardest hit by the pandemic, Daryl's remains teeming with life. Hassan Page, a waiter at the restaurant, explains Daryl's appeal. And what keeps people coming here is the live music, the sense of friendship, family, the food, music. Despite the restaurant's success and popularity, its owner, Nia Grace, has faced a multitude of challenges during the pandemic. Um, we had historically been a on-site dining restaurant where we can enjoy your food, your cocktails, and live music. That made up 90% of our business. And having to switch to a takeout-only model in the beginning of the pandemic was a, uh, it was a bit of a challenge. It also was a challenge because it just didn't meet the same revenue that we were making before. We definitely have our slower days at close to midweek, like Wednesdays, Thursdays. People have been inside for so long, they want to come out, they want to be able to listen to music that's just not on like the radio in the air, but they want to see people perform. And it's like people want to perform. It's just a blessing to still be able to play and do music and, and, and hopefully we can still continue to bring people together going forward. When mandated closures limited Daryl's dining options to take out only, Grace made strong efforts to maintain the restaurant's spirit of hospitality. So we used to send postcards home with our takeout orders and little notes and, you know, just letting people know that we were definitely thinking of them. For those who resumed indoor dining, Daryl's takes precaution to keep both customers and staff members feeling safe. We just try to make sure everything's sanitized, everything's clean, that the transfer of germs and the cross-contamination, that we try to keep all that to a minimum, if at all. We've been on the front lines for over a year. Uh, we've been face-to-face -face with customers in spite of. So with the vaccine rolling out, I'm excited about that because my staff can have an additional layer of protection should they choose to. In the face of the pandemic, Grace has managed to improve her restaurant while maintaining its welcoming and fun-loving essence. It brings that sense of, as I said, community because, you know, we have like technically the hood right over there, Roxbury, and just being able to see a place where you have people like you, they could come in, dress nice, eat good food, and you don't feel out of place, you know, you feel comfortable. I got to tell you, probably a lot of silver linings I've experienced through uh, out this last year. We were able to look at our systems differently and refine those so that we can be a better business on the other side of it. I think that everybody should come to Daryl's Corner Bar and Kitchen because we truly are the epicenter of friends, food, and music. Reporting from Northeastern University, this is Katie Mogg.